Good afternoon. This is State of Florida versus Stephen Testa with multiple cases before the court. Yo, what's poppin', man? It's your boy E.I. The King, and this is the Incarceration Podcast, where I talk about prison, pre, post, and present, and how everything that I experienced throughout my incarceration has forever changed my life. This is the incarceration. So Forever Convict family, once again, we are on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. Share this channel with somebody who has it. She was just out here. Oh, did she say this is our entrance? This right is here? our entrance, yeah. Bet. Okay. I'll... We are in the beautiful town of New England. About 400 people, maybe. Am I right? focus today until you talk is just engage, love people. Um, if, if God leads you to pray with someone today, pray with them. Follow boundaries probably. We don't want to be touching people, but we could pray standing next to them. So let's not lay hands on anyone today or anything like that. Um, share your heart, share your life. Don't share too much of your personal life, but you can share your testimony life. So don't talk about kids or family, but love on people and encourage people. So we good, all right? Yeah. Hands in. Hey. Love it. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, are you breaking us Amanda, down? Amanda, this is like a five-month hangout now. This is our time. <laughs> team on three. One, two, three. Team! 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 So, What's good, man? It's your boy, Eada King. Right now, we in North Dakota Women's State Prison, man, with my dog, Mike Bloom, Hip Hop Hope. Man, we going up for the kingdom, man. Check it out. Man, look, right now, we in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? They got a women's prison out here with about a hundred and something women in here in the middle of a farm town. I mean, I ain't even see no people. There might have been fake houses, but I know one thing that's here. God is here today. I'm Brother Brandon, the Raging Cajun. You can catch me on Friday nights on Sober Talk. Um, but today we came to talk to some women and let them know there is hope when they get out of here and life can always be changed around. Hip hop and hope, baby. My mama happy that I'm coming home, she full of joy My kids excited, finally I see my girl and boy Enlisted soldier Because all of us sin, my friends. 
All of us struggle, my friends. All of us have been through addiction, my friends. Now, five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now, someone's going to walk through this door, or you're going to walk through someone's door, and they're going to need your testimony. You might save a woman's life one day. You might prevent a suicide one day. Your daughters, your grandbabies, they need your testimony. They need your spirit. Your kids, they need your spirit. They need your legacy. So I want to challenge you, this whole day that we spend together is for y'all. It's to bless you, encourage you, and remind you of the value and worth that God has put on your life. Can I challenge you with one thing today? A lot of us come in this room like a water star. And you're saying, God, I have nothing to give them when they're thirsty for truth. God is trying to speak to all of us, not you, us. That when people speak truth into your identity, no matter how hard it is for your heart to receive it, take the lid off today. If someone tells you you're beautiful, it's okay to receive that. Amen, girls? I mean, amen. amen. I don't care if some fool devalued you at one time. I just had to say that real quick. I don't care if some fool. That's who you are. That's who you are. And so all day when we pour into you, keep the lid off. So when you leave this place and tomorrow morning one of your sisters in here was struggling, you can pour into them. You can literally tell them. God doesn't care where you are. Sometimes a prison is a mindset. We're locked up by anxiety. We're locked up by depression. We're locked up by fear. You can pour into
this is the broken place that we can be during the season, especially with a long bed. I understand that a lot of my big homies have been doing life and they come on home. But in the middle of my brokenness, like I mentioned before, God met me right where I was at. And Jesus began to reveal himself to me, but not only did he begin to transform my life as he led me to a position of surrender unto his glory in prison, God then began to show me my purpose. While in the chain gang, and my whole bit changed. I so dope my whole life. I used to love turning nothing into something. I loved it. But then God began to show me that that was a gift that he gave. That hustle and ambition, but we just perverted in the street. And that openness that we used to have to, to kick in doors and lay people down. And all that crazy, chaotic street stuff that we used to be involved in. God also showed me that that was a gift that he gave. But that we perverted in an evil way. And I think for a long time there was an undertone in Christianity that I felt like if I had to follow Jesus, I had to be like this. How's it going there? My name's Stephen. Nice to meet you. But I began to realize that in the Bible now, man, faith is authentic. God allowed me to go everything I went through to make me be who I am today. And he wants to use it, he will redeem all of that for his glory and for his kingdom. So throughout my prison bed, it became a mission and a journey. And God began to lead me to preach on the yard, to lead prayer call and Bible studies in the door, and then throughout the pound to mediate peace in the midst of gang wars and to make disciples and to serve other people. But the reason why I say all of that is because God wants to do the same thing in your life today. My biggest encouragement while we're doing this time right now, number one, Jesus, who are you? Reveal yourself to me. Show me the woman that you called and created me to be. May I know you intimately. But what is the purpose that you have for my life? God does not create anything but royalty. All of you are queens, and God has a huge call and purpose for all of your life. And it doesn't start when that cake pops. It starts now, here, today. So my biggest challenge and encouragement to you in the midst of this bit, God, how do you want to use me? May I know you, may you reveal yourself to me, but how do you want to use me for your glory? Amen? And we will follow the end of the story in a second. It's four to one. Four to one. We're going to worship the Lord. Stand up. Hey, I don't know if y'all be tapping into the tablet, but in the pit.
have, they gave me a vision for my release. One thing I also want to encourage you, yes, ask God for the vision for release, but don't lose sight of the now. Don't get too focused on the future that you lose sight of the now. God has a purpose for you now. Know that. But God began to show me that he would use rap, he would use music upon my release for the purpose of ministry, to reach the streets with the gospel. Well, guess what? God gave me all of that vision right in my first album that just dropped a couple months ago. Guess where I wrote that at? In prison. My first song that released, my third one got my very first song, got me signed to the second biggest Christian hip hop label in the nation. And God fulfilled that vision right before my eyes. Our ministry is called Black Hustle. Guess what we do? We go around the nations, we go into prison, we go to jails, we go to the trenches. We don't do church shows. We go to the trap, we go back to the block. We just had a, uh, an event in the Poker Beans Projects in Miami. And we out there to listen to all the darkness in the light of Christ, reaching the streets with the gospel. The reason why I say all that, I got two businesses, guys flourishing, he mentions all the time, he sees me raising my kids. My kids were born in prison. My daughter happened to her, she loved me since she was six years old. She's 14. They were born when I was in prison. I missed their first steps, missed their first words, wouldn't see them for years. My daughter cried my first day home. Well, guess who I'm talking to last night, late night, about boys? My baby girl. Guess who's her best friend? My baby girl. So the reason why I share all that is that they come up here and flex and nothing say, look at me now. Nah, I'm jacked up, I'm broken. We are the same. But God is faithful. He takes broken vessels like us and he gets glory in restoring us and fulfilling those visions, fulfilling those dreams, reconciling those relationships with our children. And God wants to do the same exact thing in all of your lives. Know that. But the simplistic reality of how it begins with this right here is like, Jesus, I can't do it. But you can, and here I am. Here I am. Believe that, man. Listen, my name is Eadda King. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And Queens, know that. And that's what really just drill this home before I leave right now, man. Know that right now, here today, it's no coincidence that Mike Blue, Hip Hop, Hope, myself, that we all pulled up to share our stories. But we champion our stories because God uses them as temple. All of our team in the ministry of Black Hustle, all convicts, 29 years, 11 years, 17 years, feds, all of it, a whole bunch of time, and now God's using this mindly to reach the nations. God wants to do the same thing in all of your lives. It may look different in each regard, but God gives glory in using his people to testify of what he does through redemption. And God wants to do that in you. Dream big. Dream big. Surrender every living to Jesus. I love you, y'all. Queens. Love y'all, man. Anxiety from what we used to go through is the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Because we can be in the church, out in the free world, and we go through the same thing. That person's my enemy. You know what I'm saying? I'm jealous of that person. It don't matter where you are, it's that flesh. No, 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 no. This is our family. Look, we just have a couple more things before lunch. Lunch is in like 45 minutes. And then, can we eat with y'all today? Is that cool? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Pen, pen, pen. So we're going to eat with y'all, just hang with y'all, fellowship with y'all. Then, after lunch, um, we're going to do an entrepreneur's Q&A. The reason why I like doing that is because I have three people, all who have felonies on their records. Some of them multiple felonies, some of them violent felonies, who have all three started something successful after getting out of prison. So, I want to encourage you, here's what I want to say about that. During that uh, Q&A, you'll have an opportunity to ask some questions on the mic. So don't be a, this is about us today, not us, us. So if you got some questions, you're like, I've been thinking about a business. I've been thinking about a podcast. I've been thinking about starting to like, ask that today, okay? You got permission to bring that up. Then we're gonna do an open mic later. Real talk. I always bring this stuff up because I'm telling you, you come in here and you just hope. And Jesus is like, your gifts are the way you You know what I'm saying? I didn't lock up your gifts. I didn't lock up your pocket. You may be here for a season, but I didn't lock up the anointing I put on your life since birth. I didn't lock that up. It's still there. You know what I'm saying? So bring that out today. Bless us with your gifts. Can you do that? Bless you with your gift. So, I'm going to keep this flowing up until lunch. I brought a high uh, five to join us. You can sit one time. So, say what I can hear today. You know what I'm saying? Go on, show them some love later. I brought my sister with me. She's right here. Hey, man. Yeah. So, we're going to keep this flowing. Oh, I brought my boy Tyler. Give him my boy Tyler right here, too. And his sister. Where's his sister? Right in the back there. Yeah. All the way from Dickinson, shout out to Dickinson. It's going to be
Um, growing up, okay, watching the news, I don't watch the news anymore, but growing up, I'd see these stories on the news, and I'd be like, ugh. Do you know what I mean? I'm just being real with you, okay? I didn't know any better. I knew the Lord. I had, I was a Christian, I called myself a Christian. I grew up in a Christian home, my mom and dad. And then years later, God had a plan for me. I just turned 40 in July. I, anyone 40 in here? Be honest, it's okay. I'm being honest.
That was amazing. Listen, if you've done any time, I'm talking about a county jail, state penitentiary, federal, or even drug programs, whatever. If you want to share your story on this channel, go ahead and email me at EI the King Booking. Go ahead and put your stories in the comments below. If there's anything that I talked about slightly, you want to go, you want me to go more in depth on, or anything I haven't talked about at all, and it's a good idea, drop it in the comments. Let me know. And also remember, I am a rapper. My artist name is EI the king you can find my music on all platforms i also have another channel youtube channel uh, my official artist channel ei the king and i also have another podcast it's called let me talk bro where i talk more so about my life music ministry and all these things also i have a patreon with exclusive content everything is in the description below so listen man till the next time it's your boy ei the king